The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet. And the latest report card from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration says the impact is being felt in sea ice, snow cover, permafrost, and food sources, endangering habitats, fisheries, and indigenous cultures. They're all showing signs of change, and those changes are happening happening more abruptly, more rapidly than you know we sort of previously anticipated. At the climate summit in Madrid, recognition that a climate crisis could come now with just a 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature increase. You know, everybody says, "What's the difference between one and a half two degrees? One and a half two degrees difference is we get a lot more irreversible changes at two degrees." What's happening is a vicious cycle of warming in the Arctic. Arctic sea ice has been melting in recent decades. The open waters absorb more sunlight, and that warms the oceans and seas even faster. And on land, less snow cover with more sunlight and a warmer atmosphere, so the permafrost is thawing and releasing more greenhouse gases. Some of the impacts? Well, the Greenland ice sheet is losing 267 billion tons of ice per year. In the Canadian north, the breeding population of the ivory gull has declined 70% since the 1980s. In the Bering Sea, there is mass migration of fish species and indigenous communities are threatened. And across the entire Arctic, from Canada to Siberia, the thawing permafrost could be releasing up to 600 million tons of carbon per year into the atmosphere. Over eons, animals, plants, and microbes have died, the carbon locked in the permafrost. Its release would be another jolt to global warming. So it is a sitting freezer of carbon. And so this is carbon that's going to wind its way back into the atmosphere. And the question is, how quickly will that occur? As a major per capita carbon producer, Canada is seen by activists at the climate summit as one of the countries not doing enough to combat the causes of climate change, though the impact of global warming is increasingly evident in our own Arctic backyard. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.